Madam President, uh, Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, thank you very much indeed for inviting me for this very important and very prestigious uh, conference, which is being held in the seat of one of the most uh, powerful organizations in the world. The organization which is the, one of the most known in the world, not only the world of sports. It might be because it represents the field of human activity, which is supposedly now to everybody. And not the uh, first time uh, in the headquarters of FIFA. Uh, I was here earlier when, uh, as I had been active uh, in Polish Football uh, Association, uh, Federation for a few years, by the way. The day before, yes, uh, yesterday, I was on a match of Champions League in Warsaw, to which matches of this rank return after 20 years, 21 years. Uh, please don't ask me about the result of uh, this uh, match. But every day, now, very seriously speaking, uh, in the world, even more important match is being played. At stake is peace and the possibility of steady growth in different countries and different regions. Anyway, football and sport seldom cause wars, as the one in the late 60s uh, between Salvador and Honduras, but more often they are a pretext for improving international and bilateral relations. We have already had to deal with ping-pong diplomacy between the United States and PRC, China, uh, and also, even more often, with football diplomacy. Because uh, sport and football rather unites than divides. I feel honored to speak in a group of such outstanding people as you, ladies and gentlemen. When we think about the phenomenon of sport, which for some nations is something like a religion, and probably for everybody a very important, not only economical, but also social and cultural phenomenon. The reason for this is the fact that sport is more than business. It's a dream company, a hope for dreams coming true, especially in poorer countries and smaller countries. Sport is also a hope for improving living conditions for millions of poor or very poor people, but also poor or very poor nations, especially for those who have not won a good fortune in history. Famous sportsmen, coaches and referees, recognizable in society and have greater acceptance, frankly speaking, maybe it's a pity for us, uh, acceptance and uh, authority than us politicians. Their opinion is taken into account more often than the opinion of the, some prime minister or a minister of a given country. And therefore, sport especially should be purer than Caesar's wife, out of any suspicions not only for the sports fans, but because of social and cultural role of sport. It should be without any doping scandals and without dirty industry setting the scores of the matches to win enormous money in bookmakers' bets, or without corruption, which has been like disease-eating sport away for many years. Finally speaking, this is what should be wished not only to sportsmen, but also to all of us, fans and activists. To gain this, we should work together of the level of uh, politics, justice, media, and sports organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention and good luck.